Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now I've got a DVD review and this time around I'm reviewing the film called Survival of the Dead. A soldier from Land of the Dead stars in Survival of the Dead. That guy right there, the main guy. Yeah, the main guy, Survival of the Dead. He starred in Land of the Dead. Uh, he was a soldier in that as well. However, I did do a review of Land of the Dead and I did mention that this guy got eaten. And he got turned into a zombie. And you actually see him as a zombie. Which kind of annoyed the hell out of me. Because he's got any turn in there. And he's suddenly in survival of the dead. Which can't happen. Um, but yeah, that, that annoyed me. That annoyed me straight away. So the soldier and his crew uh, decide to set up camp. After looting people. And uh, thought, right, that's it. We're going to live. Live like kings now. We've done our bit. And uh, yeah, we're going to settle down. As they go on their merry way, uh, trying to find a good place to set up camp, uh, they come across a group who had recently stole one million dollars. In this little group of, uh, well, you could call them bad guys, I guess, uh, the people who had stole the million dollars uh, was a young lad, probably 18s, 20s sort of age, and uh, he joined the main guy, the main guy and his army little crew, he joined them and uh, <clears throat> he showed him a video on his smartphone because of course in Survival of the Dead they've still got the internet. Uh, so this guy, young lad, he shows him a video of uh, an old guy on YouTube and he's promoting his island called Plum. Now on Plum there happens to be you know uh, a safe haven almost. This old guy on YouTube saying you know come over to Plum you know come and live get out of the way of the zombie infestation and come and live on Plum. So after being shown the video, the army man, his crew and the young lad head towards Plum. As uh, the story goes, you know, they see the video, why not go to Plum, why not? As uh, the army crew discover, while they're quite new onto Plum Island, while they're new, they just get onto Plum Island and they discover that all the zombies that are still on the island have been chained up uh, to do chores like they used to do when they were once human. So, for example, there's a mailman, he's chained to this post box and he keeps going backwards and forwards because he's on a chain and... I don't know, it's, it's a bit cruel and... and all that. Well now they're fighting over zombies and what should happen with them. Well really Survival of the Dead with that story in mind it's it's okay you know it's not a great sort of action packed sort of film it seemed to have a big budget but it didn't live up to it. The main guy got eaten in Land of the Dead and yet he's back in this film. Um, the story's a bit you know the fact that two families warring over each other it's a clever idea that they want to feed zombies all the sorts of food but you know do it in a facility army base scientists and all that don't do it on a plum island you know things like that it's like the makeup effects as well the makeup effects were better in Night of Living Dead 3D whereas in this bigger budget film and the makeup effects were a bit shit in all honesty the odd good death scene, to be honest, there was one that stuck out for me. 
uh, near to the end of the film and he gets his spine ripped out. But yeah, it's uh, George A. Romero, not as good as what he used to be. Hopefully he does uh, a really good zombie film before he kicks the zombie bucket, should I say. Uh, but Survival of the Dead, another greatest zombie film that George A. Romero has done. However, if you're a big fan, then add it to your collection, I guess. Also, guys, don't forget, Toby WTD gets you 20% off any We The Devoted gear. So check them out, all the links down below. But thank you very much for watching my review of Survival of the Dead. Hope you enjoyed it.